Blake got a slot on. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, it's a slot. I can tell by the way how big it is. Huh? Yo. Woo, almost lost my phone. Bring it away, bring it away, bring it away. Head towards me, head towards me, buddy. Woo. I think that's a slot red, buddy. Yeah, he looks slot. Where'd you catch him on? Uh, that one right there. Oh, chicken boy, I have to work. Dude, that's a slot red, son. Oh. <laughs> Let's check this out. Put your rod down. Yep, he's slot. Slot, slot red. Slot me five. All right, now we're gonna get a couple photos of this guy. <laughs> it wasn't even that exciting of a fight, but man, he put in work. Well, when I, when I freaked out, it was, it was, <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop recording for a minute all right guys so as y'all saw i didn't put um a cleaning portion in this video um i've cleaned redfish on here a few times so if you haven't seen it done yet you can check one of the other videos um uh, but if you you know what here's a good one do y'all want to see just a red how to clean redfish video maybe like five minutes of completely had to clean the redfish and everything maybe not just a catch and cook on one let me know in the comments below but we're going to dive in. Um, here we go. Boom. That's the redfish my little cousin caught. He's currently filming right now. As you already saw, we're going to take the seasoning very simple with this because we're making a weird dish. Um, by the thumbnail, you probably already was like, what the hell? Um, I got I inspired from this video from my homeboy, Eric. Um, I had him uh, Lone Star Yakking. I love lemon pepper. I'm weird for it. I love lemon pepper. And then I'm going to add some Tony's. The seasoning really don't matter because you're going to go back and season it more later. This is just kind of just to help cook it. So I'm going to set it right there. Olive oil spray. And so... hot really hot I actually caught my hand there all right so I'm gonna let this fish cook through um and then show you the next part um all right I just gotta tell you how this is we're gonna make a redfish patty um I'm gonna cook the redfish sometime um you can cut it up and do it I like cooking it through make sure everything's good and Try not to deep deep fry it. I'm gonna have to shallow fry it so you still get a crisp on it and a little good crunch to it. So um we're going to throw in bell pepper, mushroom, onion into this mix and I'm gonna cut this up real quick guys and show you kind of how I do it. Um it's kind of like an old recipe I've done but a little bit different. So as these guys are cooking through and everything and we'll let them finish cooking through and then I'm gonna let them cool off and then I'll show you how we're gonna mix everything together for this so on to the dope bureau So we're gonna add, we're gonna make our sauce that's gonna go on our um, uh, we're making a burger out of this pretty much a patty. Um, take what? One, two, three tablespoons of uh, mayonnaise. We're also gonna do whoo, about a tablespoon of sriracha. This stuff doesn't come out. So we're probably gonna do a tablespoon of sweet chili sauce. And this, you just mix it all together. Simple little sauce. I never had this before. This is all a new recipe. So. My hands are clean. Whoa! Holy shit, that's good! Wow! Hey, y'all gotta try this, alright? So, like I said, just do that. 
sriracha, mayonnaise, right there. Bomb. But I'm, uh, I'm going to get to y'all guys here in a second. Let me finish cooking. All right, guys, so the fish is done. It's pretty much like, you pretty much just blacken the fish, the redfish. It's stuck on there hardcore. <laughs> so all right now I'm going to let it cool off on this little thing for a few minutes. And then we're going to um, kind of like, more or less like chop it up. So I'm just going to, I'm going to loosen it up into pieces now. Just take a fork and you see it's cooked. Ooh, really pretty. Try something here in a second actually. Oh, redfish. Amazing. Alright. So I'm going to let this cool down for here for a few seconds. And then we're going to show you how the mix. Alright guys, so now we took our fish. Like, came in egg from the fridge. I'm at it right there. Oh, I need the top right there. I actually got to flip over my toes. So, I'm going to take my fork. I just need one egg, like, so. The recipe only calls for one egg, so. Take my fork, still break it up a little bit more. Check this out. All right, so take one egg. Mix it. My hands aren't clean, just washing them, guys. All right, so you're gonna mix it up by hand. You can do it with the, um, what you call it, um, uh, fork or something, but I like it by hand. It gets everything kind of breaking down and everything better. Like, pull that piece of bread right there for me. Sit it right there on top now. Set, the, set that back on top there. So as we're mixing everything up right here, um, uh, you're gonna see, you're gonna want it to kind of be like self sticking to itself so I can bounce, um, bounce it and it kind of falls apart. So that's perfect consistency. So I'm gonna finish toasting my bread real quick and then we're gonna make the patties okay, real so quick. So how we're gonna do this, we're just gonna pan, um, kind of pan fry them, I guess you could say. Pull this up very well because it's gonna have to like crisp up these patties. So I'm gonna do them Mix them up a little bit more and kind of die down a minute. I soaked up that batter. So I'm going to do, I'm going to have to fit on a piece of bread, white bread. Actually, I need another egg. Like, another egg, please. Sometimes that will happen if you let it sit like I did. I messed up. It soaked it up, so it helps to work faster. Crack it in here for me. Move. Well, I'm doing one hand. Don't have to get any eggshells. Alright, so. Andrew's still clean, so. I'm trying to cook them fast and so they can hold their form better. So I'm going to do about palm size, it's fair, kind of flat. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. He might fall apart. It's all a learning experience. We'll go from there. Stop recording. Recording? All right, guys. So we're gonna take our little mayonnaise mix we made, batter it up, make it look great. Both sides. A little too much. So. One of our delicious patties right there. That guy crisp up very well. Go ahead and throw a slice of cheese on top. Normally I use pepper jack, but I'm out of pepper jack at the moment. Take a little of the baby spring mix. Like that, guys, we got ourselves a awesome meal. This is mine. My little cousin Blake's. I got a patty and a half still cooking, so. We have enough to make one more if we get hungry to split one so new recipe i've never tried this it's kind of like my gar patty recipe but i'm interested on how that uh mayonnaise mix is going to taste so all right guys
That's really good. You can really taste everything come together. The greens help get it a little more crunch, even though it's fried a little bit. Gives it more. The cheese helps a lot. I would love pepper jack a little more, but um, guys, try this recipe. It was a dope little video to make with my little cousin. That was his first lot red of this year. If y'all don't know, my little cousin comes and stays with me every summer, no matter what. He comes and lives with me, so that was his first red this year. He did that all his long. He caught it on the whipping chicken. Um, uh, chicken, what was, I forgot the color of it. Um, I forgot the color of it. I'll leave that lure link down below if you want to get it. Um, but I'll catch all you guys on the next episode of Fat Man's Fishing. We about to grub, and we out. I know y'all saw that. I bet. Look how fat this guy is. He's probably about two pounds. Free how fat he is.